Welcome back to another Crafty Chipmunks activity. I'm Miss Akasha Delusty, and today I have with me my daughter, Brady, and my son, Nickel. Yep, I've got both of you. And guess who's going to be joining us today? Papa! Papa Rob's going to be joining us because today we are doing... Bubble painting! We are going to be doing bubble painting. We are going to make ours as a keepsake for our family. That's why we're using canvas, but you can use different materials. I'm going to take you through our whole process. You can choose to leave out the end of it if you wish. But we, first, we need to show them what they need. Tempera paint, make sure it's liquid. It's a really inexpensive paint, so it's nice for the pocketbook. Two tablespoons of the paint into your bowl. Make sure your bowl is shallow too, because that's gonna come into play when it's time for painting. Now it's time for that. All right. The next step is two tablespoons of Dawn dish soap. You can use Dawn, Joy, or Palm Olive. Sometimes the organic brands just don't have the bubbles that you need. Apparently you need the chemicals. So two tablespoons into this. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. It looks like green. It is green. It's now it's one tablespoon of water. So in total you will have five tablespoons of liquids into your mix. And now we mix this. It doesn't make a very bubbly mess yet. That's what the straws are for. <gasps> straw, yay! Straws, 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 straws. Now we repeat with our blue. Two tablespoons of blue tempera, two tablespoons of dish soap, and one tablespoon of water. masterpieces. We did the handprint because we wanted a keepsake to remember what these two were like at this age. Now, did you two have fun? Yes! Did you have fun? Yep. We did come up with a couple pointers. Keep your dishes shallow that you're going to be blowing in. It helps with the bubbling and making it easier. The other thing is darker colors do read easier and faster, but as they develop and show, I'm seeing yellows popping through now. We also discovered you don't need to add as much water to it as you would think. Go ahead and add a little bit. 
you'll get the consistency. You can build up to what the recipe calls for. And then make sure your straws are tiny. The smaller the straw, the easier it is to blow. This poor guy. <laughs> so, we want to see what masterpieces you come up with. Make sure you take me on Facebook and on Instagram, Akasha underscore Delusty. We've enjoyed it, didn't we? Yes. And if you want to be a crafty little chipmunk and keep up with us little chipmunks, please make sure you like and subscribe and turn on your notifications. So until the meantime, we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.